Hey everyone, it's Bot Chasers here and just wanted to give you a little bit of a restoration video on an item that I just purchased and this is a complete inbox Superpowers Justice Jagger toy and uh, it's actually all with the original contents sealed. Unfortunately the box was not sealed but it does have the instructions, the stickers unapplied on the box. Now, as does happen with uh, these boxes over the years, this one uh, has some, I don't know what it is, if it's uh, like a old dust or if it's some sort of a mold growing on the box, but you can see it here. I'm just going to try and you see that how it's uh, like spotted or dotted along the box. Now that's all old something, some sort of crud that's on the box itself. And although this is a nice shiny cardboard, it, you know, leaves kind of a rough finish on it. Um, and I'd like to restore this box in order to display it a little bit better. Thankfully the front is pretty nice and doesn't have any of that dust or grime on it but the sides the bottom the top all have that grime so what i tried to do is find some restoration videos of like star wars card backs things like that i did find uh that a lot of people are suggesting the zippo lighter fluid uh this did not work for me i tried it on a small section in the bottom that didn't work i also tried some of this Goo Gone on a small section too, and that did not work for me. But what I did find worked is common furniture polish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this removes that dirt. So what we wanna do is just take an old clean rag, just gonna fold it up here. I'm gonna spray a little bit right here on the rag itself. And we don't want to get too much moisture, so we're just going to dab it together here. And let's go over to a spot that you can see is pretty dirty, like where it says Justice Jogger right there. I'm just going to start to rub this in that area. Now, I'm going to get my finger under there so I get a little bit more. Let me get a little bit more on here. You want to make sure that it's not too wet because that's gonna harm the box. We don't wanna do that by getting it wet. So we wanna make sure it's just damp. I'm just gonna rub on there. And it's all coming off really nicely. So you can see on the white there, we got a significant amount of that off the white. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'll just give you another view again of the box and how it looks on this side with all that grime. And I'm going to work on it and I'll come back and show you some of the results here on the side. All right, we're back and I'm just done cleaning the side here. And you can notice here what a nice improvement. It actually brought back the luster of the uh, cardboard. No doubt due to the polishing ingredient. But um, notice here on the side, I didn't, I still can't seem to get that clean all the way, but it did clean up the whites quite a bit. It seemed like the lighter the color, the better it got clean. Although over here on the side, it still uh, looks like there's quite a bit there. So I'm just going to keep going and cleaning up this box, and I'll show you when I'm all finished. Okay, well, I finished up the whole box. It took about 10 minutes. Um, using that furniture polish, and I'll show you some of the results here. Again, the front was okay to begin, but now look at that side. I mean, look at how that cleaned up so nicely. And it does not have that textured effect anymore. Took all that grime right off. Super smooth, gave it that little, probably a little bit of a wax coating here really nicely 
uh, nice effect there. So if you're looking to get uh, some of that grit and grime off of your old vintage uh, boxes, maybe card backs, uh, this may be a, a trick that you want to use. And again, you know, beware, use this at your own risk and uh, don't rub too hard. Just uh, lightly in a circular motion I found uh, works pretty good. So thanks for watching Bot Chasers.